hello all uh, this is mohammad hanif uh, once again i welcomes you uh, to this uh, lab session where we are dealing uh, digital signal processing in last session we have seen how uh, we can design a fair filter using filter design tools today we will be looking into ir filter design using filter design tool so let's start so first uh, uh going to the apps and from here you have to look out for the filter designing tool okay so here you can see that filter design tool is available click on this so here uh, a new window appears from this one uh, we have to change uh, and we have to choose the options which we required to design ir filter okay so in the left bottom here you can see that it is uh, asking for the design method where you can choose ir filter and uh, and we are designing a low pass filter here with uh, designing method is iir and then uh, selecting this butter word and then here options in uh, options it is asking for uh, match exactly here you are, you will be having you will be given with two options a pass band and stop band so we'll be going with pass band here and here the units in hertz and sampling frequency we are going with 48000 uh, and f pass let's will uh, give it with a uh, 4000 so taking as uh, human voice uh, frequency and then stop band frequency i am uh, applying maximum as 5 kilohertz and then uh, here magnitude specifications here you have uh, two options uh, decibels and squared when you give the squared one the specifications will be h of f squared and then it will ask you for uh, gain for pass band and gain for uh, stop band here uh, let's uh, uh, let's we go with the 0.9 and then uh, stop band gain here let's will go with uh, 0.02 okay so these are the specifications we are uh, trying to give it fit Uh, give it uh, for ir filter with butterworth and just click on this design filter now this tool will design filter for us so here you can see that uh, designing filter is done now this is the filter magnitude response now here you can see that the this structure uh, is using a direct form to second order sections the order is uh, 13 order and the sections it is using a uh, 7 okay and uh, you can go for other options also like this is the magnitude response for phase response uh, we can click on this option right and both if you want to check the magnitude and phase response together then we can go with this option okay now uh, in lab uh, what you people do is just change this uh, gain of pass band and gain of stop band and try to observe the uh, different uh, uh, orders it is uh, changing according to your specifications okay so now let's uh, we'll change this uh, stop band to x.05 okay Now once again, I am clicking on this design filter. Earlier, uh, if you have remembered that order was thirteen, now it is changed to eleven, and the sections were uh, seven. Now it is uh, being changed to six. Okay, so like that, uh, you have to uh, work on other uh, gains and uh, uh, gains for pass band as well as stop band. and even you can look into this one uh, where uh, 
we have now designed with butterworth and then uh, or else you can choose chepshio or any other thing so this one is like for uh, assignment for you for tomorrow's uh, lab session okay uh, hope you understand this thank you